Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwin with your first alert forecast. It's 512 and great to have you alongside. I want to get you outside with your first alert Skycam network from Elizabethtown for one corner cafe. Checking out a dry Broad Street business 87 between Poplar and MLK. Let's hop over to the Murkison building view in downtown Wilmington. New traffic patterns, of course, but you know the weather not jumping on a pile as far as making things uh, awkward outside as you get started. It's just nice and crystal clear skies. Now one thing with temperatures as low as they are as expected in the 30s this morning and breezes not super strong. There's a breeze, but it's not a super strong breeze, um, especially those areas that are sheltered from that light breeze. Some frost may be collected on some surfaces. We got some single digit miles an hour northerly breezes all over the map. Hope you don't have frost on your windshield, but temperatures in the 30s to around 40, certainly cold enough to support it on some surfaces. Southport Oak Island at the Cape Fear Regional Jet Port in agreement with Wilmington Airport at 36 here in the top of the five o'clock hour. 35s for Elizabethtown and Whiteville with a rain and snow free radar scan. Let's bring in Jude for your catnap forecast, uh, he's uh, given his paw of approval on the forecast to uh, Hannah. I appreciate it. OK, so for today and Thursday, it's like a three day thing. We'll say a nap is possible or possible would be the operative pun. Uh, but I say maybe you want to be outside getting after it because it's going to be a nice couple days with bright skies. Now in the middle here for tomorrow, we have a chance of a cold shower early and uh, chilly breeze is going to kick in with low pressure deepening off the outer banks tomorrow and the late day sense. And so that looks uh, just about perfect for a nap. Let's take you through at 3 p.m. today. Sun and cirrus, so we're chugging forward now. A disturbance at the jet stream level is a polar branch, so it's not from the subtropics. It doesn't have a lot of moisture, but it's got some dynamics, so you see how it's ringing out. And a little more concerted effort out of clouds and perhaps a cold rain shower or two around daybreak tomorrow, perhaps around drive time tomorrow. I want you to know that. Notice how quickly this moves to the east. It starts to wrap up there east of the Outer Banks, and you know, we clear out late tomorrow, tomorrow night, and we don't look back into Thursday. Let's repackage some of these sediments in your first alert three day forecast. I want to expand it to a seven day forecast for you. And so we're flipping that calendar a little deeper into February. A system to watch early next week with another spike in shower chances. Kim, we've got plenty of time with which to do that. Back to you.